Ted, thank you. Also tonight, ready, set, hunt. The 2022 Florida Python Challenge kicking off today as hundreds of competitors from all across the country flock to South Florida. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn joins us now from the Everglades with the reason for this annual hunt. Jackie. Well, if it's not the reward, it may be for bragging rights, okay? Last year, the longest python was 15 feet long. So you have until August 14th this year to maybe get something like that or to bag as many as you can. Just get close to him, say his head's down here, and at night, usually they don't move too much, and you just get down there and grab him by the neck. Last year, the same scenario played out during the Python Challenge, helping Myron Looker, a professional contractor, place in the 2021 Python Challenge. A second place in the pro category uh, for the longest, and that was a 12 and a half footer. He's joining hundreds of people signing up for this year's contest. It never gets old. The adrenaline gets rushed and gets going, and um, you definitely get pumped even watching some other people catch them. It's a lot of fun. Florida Fish and Wildlife estimates there's between 100,000 to 300,000 Burmese pythons in the Everglades, and they need help getting rid of them. Pythons are an invasive species, gulping down native wildlife and destroying the habitat. And how to tackle invasive species, how by making it not our agency's problem to solve, making it all of our problems to solve. State First Lady Casey DeSantis joined wildlife officials in announcing prizes for most caught and longest python. All of us together on this environmental hunt to remove a snake that can get 200 pounds, 20 feet long. Alligator Ron Bergeron, a gladesman and board member with the South Florida Water Management District, is sweetening up the pot with $10,000 towards the prizes. We've got lights usually up top. Some people put them on the top of their vehicle. Looker is ready to go out at night in the days ahead. And as his name may suggest, he's going to look for something even bigger than last year's catch. This was made uh, by a friend of mine, Matt Kogo, fellow contractor. And even if he doesn't walk away with a win, it's possible he may walk away with a little more snakeskin to add to his collection. And look, you may not need a lot of equipment, but Looker says sometimes it boils down to luck. And wild life officials uh, say that they want to remind people not to dump their pets in the Everglades because it can cause all kinds of problems in the ecosystem. In the Everglades, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News. They certainly can. Jackie, thank you very much. Still